Well, hello, Shoreline Church. It is Monday, March 30th, and we continue to spend time together like this three times a week, just hearing God's word and giving you an update on what's happening in the life of your church. So I want to read to you from Psalm 33, just the first four verses. Sing joyfully to the Lord, you righteous. It is fitting for the upright to praise him. Praise the Lord with the harp. Make music to him on the ten-stringed lyre. Sing to him a new song. Play skillfully and shout for joy. For the word of the Lord is right and true. He is faithful in all he does. Just a couple of thoughts for you today. First, there's an invitation, a challenge, a call to praise, to celebrate God's goodness. I believe that call to sing to God and praise God is not just for the easy, good times. It's for the tough times also. Even when things are difficult, God deserves our praise. And it's not that we're faking, acting like we're happy, but we are saying, God, even in this, you're on the throne, you are Lord, and I give you praise. And then this psalm talks about how the word of the Lord is right and true. I encourage you to be opening this book every day, reading God's word. Follow the Shoreline Reading Guide. If you're not sure, it's, it's, on, it's, on, the, it's on the website. It's on the, the Shoreline app. If you're not sure where to read in the Bible, use that, and it'll get, ready, uh, get you ready for the next week's sermon. And so open God's word every day. And then the portion we looked at finishes with these words. He is faithful in all he does. I need to tell you today, God is faithful. Even in the tough times, even when we don't understand. He is faithful and deserves our praise. And so God, that's our prayer today, that we would sing songs of praise to you, that we would feed our souls on your word, and we would live with a confident certainty that you are faithful to us, your children. Bring us your peace, your strength, your truth through your word, and empower us to live for you this week. We pray this in Jesus' name and for his glory. Amen. Well, now, now Donna Brown, our communication director, is going to give you a few updates. Have a great day. In today's update, I have a few really important items to share with you. The first is that Shoreline is working with several local community organizations to serve our community as needed. We wanted to let you know about an important way that you can help us this week. Thankfully, the Shoreline Food Pantry is considered essential and is allowed to stay open during our shelter-in-place order. However, the resources to stock the food pantry have diminished greatly. It is for this reason that we are asking for your help to stock the food pantry. This Wednesday, April 1st, from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m., we will be operating a drive through drop-off time for non-perishable items at the food pantry. Additionally, we're going to have pastors available for prayer at the drop-off location in our parking lot. Here's how it's going to work. Cars will enter our parking lot and will be directed to drive around back to the food pantry, where we'll have a designated stop point for dropping off your non-perishable items. From there, if you're interested, you'll be able to pull forward and we'll have pastors standing by for prayer before you leave. You'll be able to stay in your car while we connect for, with you for this prayer. The items we are looking for are listed on our website and also linked in today's email. If you have any questions, please email us at info at shoreline.church and we really hope that you'll be able to help. Lastly today, we wanted to let you know that we are gearing up for a really powerful night of worship this Wednesday night, and we hope that you'll be able to join us online at 6.15 p.m. Make sure your family is ready for our time of communion by having some juice and crackers or bread ready. Pastor Kevin will lead us all through this time together. You'll be able to access the online night of worship via the same channels you find us on Sunday morning. You can join us on Facebook, our live stream channel, or even right from the front page of our website. Our desire during this time is to stay connected with you, but we also ask that you stay connected with us. Feel free to interact with us via our chat features during our online services, send us an email, or interact on social media. We love seeing how our church family is using this time to grow, love, and connect with each other.